Well, I hope you're getting into this saga. I said I'd limit it to 10, but I might go to 11 because there's so much to talk about. Because when it comes to that particular individual, it's a progression from start at the start where you ain't got a clue and you're doing what you're doing and it's like, this is chaos and all I'm doing is screaming. And then, because you're lying, because you're on the crack, the fucking crack, I hate crack. Talk about corrupt FN, meantime or what? I mean, it's like cursed stuff. And let me remind me of the first relationship with the mascara eyeball and I was like, I'm crazy lady. Anyway, people are crazy in their own ways, right? And people find other ways to deal with it. And this is a quite a master of her own insanity, I suppose, because, like, she, well, not really, because she still self-harms and hits her head across the wall, which she did a couple of times. It's quite disturbing. Because she probably frustrate people. It's like um, <clears throat> passive-aggressive violence, that. So she probably likes to, uh, yeah. Anyway... Single parent. I come from a background with two parents and it's just like, come on, encourage that in your daughter, not that in your daughter, please. What the fuck is that? And it really did, like, I felt like I was being a father figure sort of thing. She stayed with me for two years. And in the middle, after this guy kept disrespecting me and I was like, why won't she talk up against him? She's an equal partner in this company that I've kind of made happen and named. And I'm just saying, why are you letting him take me or family? And then they had the first event at the 414 Vic Brixton. And she's sitting in the corner with him and this other guy that they just bought in to do the ticket prices. And they've printed off tea, three t-shirts and not one for me. Now, you're starting to bring out the artistic stroppy side of myself now. Because I'm like, she's disrespecting. Something funny about it. There's a little bit of chemistry there and she's not really being honest. And I did actually try to match make these fuckers in the first instance. So it's like that. And it was an affront. And we had one massive argument and I threw her mannequin out the window. And then I went downstairs to pick it up. And she'd left me and abandoned me. I didn't even know she was going to be in my flat. And I picked the mannequin up. And then she's standing there. I said, well, she's got a black eye. And I said, what the fuck did you do to your face? She goes, oh, don't worry about it. It's like Fight Club. I, I, I'm pretty 89% sure that I didn't do that. Because I remember asking her. And then it was like mad passionate love. Because like I say, she's the sort of person that likes all this. And, uh, and I'm like, the one argument. Is that what you're living for? Passive aggressive arguments. Are you going to start creating a cycle here? But anyway, that was bang in the middle of it. And she fucked off for three months and she did her own thing. And then I took her back, which is stupid. You do not take anybody back in it, ever, ever. Because I think she took that opportunity to fuck the Peter. Because we lived together for another year. And you know when you just start to get this feeling, you're walking into her own front room and you start to feel uncomfortable like you. Uh, well, someone's talking behind your back and it's all bullshit. And it's starting to sort of like, the insecurity's coming along. So I'm like, get your property back off him. You're ordering a shitty little keyboard for that little tiny little shitty thing. And he's got your £300 thing. Get it in a cab. Put it in a cab. So it started to build. And then the police turned up at the doorstep asking for her. 